Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this QR code generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see on the right side we have this QR code and on the left side we have this text field. And you can go ahead and add any text over here and click on generate QR code. And the QR code will be generated over here. So if I just type testing and if I press generate QR code. Here we can see we have this QR code for this text testing. So if I hover over this, we can see testing is being displayed. And in the same way, you can go ahead and add the links of any website over here and just click on generate QR code and you'll have the QR code for the link. So we will start designing this in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Now in this first video, I'll just show you how to design this and in the next video, we will add the functionality of generating the QR code. Right here, I have created this folder called QR code generator and I have this images folder over here and in that we have this image for the QR code. This will be just for testing the design. So let's go ahead and create the necessary files. I'll just click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and we'll also need to have a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. And we'll also have a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Now let's start with our index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you will have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. And let's also link the JavaScript file over here in the body. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now let's start with the markup of our QR code generator. The first thing we will do is uh, we will create a container division. And let's give it a class of QR code generator container or let's type QR code container. And here the first thing we need to have is a heading. So here we can see we have this heading generate QR code. So I'll just create an H2 for that and here I'll just type generate QR code. And below that we need to have this text area. We need to have this button below that. And on the right side we need to have this QR code. So what we will do is we will create a container division for all these elements. So let's create a division with a class of content. And in that on the left side, we need to have these two elements. So I'll just create a division with a class of control. And in that we will have a text area. So let's type text area. And I'll just delete all of this and I'll just create a class. And let's give it a class of QR code message. And then we need to have this button. So let's create a button over here. And for the button, we will give a class of generate button. And here I'll just type generate QR code. And then on the right side, we need to have the QR code. So I'll just create a division of the class of QR code. And in here, we need to have the QR code. But for now, I'll just add this image that we have over here. So I'll just type IMG. And in the SRC, I'll just type images forward slash QR code sample. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see now we have the design displayed in the browser. Now let's go ahead and style it using CSS. So let's go to a style or CSS file. And first of all, let's target the container division, which is QR code container. And we'll give it a max width of 800 pixels. And let's bring it to the center. So I'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And we'll set the font family to Poppins and sans serif. And we'll also set the text align to center. Right now, if we go back to our design, this is how it looks right now. Now let's style this heading. So for the heading, we have an H2 inside the QR code container. So let's type QR code container H2 and we will set the font size of this to 40 pixels and uh, that looks all right. Right now we need to have this text area and this button on the left side and we need to have this QR code on the right side. So both of these elements are inside this division with the class of content. So in that we have the control division and then we have the QR code division. So we will set the display of the content to flex so that both these elements are one next to the other. So let's type QR code container content and let's set the display to flex and we will add a gap of 20 pixels between the elements. So this is how it looks and we'll also bring this to the extreme ends of the division. 
So if I go back to the container and if I add a background color over here, here we can see on the right side we have a lot of space. So here we can just type justify content and set it to space between. And now we can see that the elements are on the extreme left and right. Right now let's remove this background color. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring these two elements one below the other. So we need to have the text area at the top and this button at the bottom. So let's target the container division which is this division with the class of control in that we have the text area and the button. So let's type QR code container control and we'll set the display to flex and we'll set the flex direction to column. And now we can see that these elements are one below the other. Now let's set the flex of the control to 1 so that it can take up the full width. So let's type flex and let's set it to 1. And now we can see it has the full width. And now the next thing we will do is we will have a full width for this text area. And at the bottom we will have a little bit of space for this button. So for that let's go back and uh, we will target the text area which has a class of QR code message. So let's type QR code container. QR code message and now let's set the flex of this to 1. We'll also add some gap between these two elements. So let's go back to the container and here let's type gap and I'll just set it to 8 pixels and we'll also change the font of this text area. So let's go back and here let's type font family and let's set it to poppins and sans serif and I'll just set the font size to 18 pixels and we'll also add some padding and I'll just set it to 18 pixels. And here we can see we have this option of resizing the text area. So I'll just disable that. I'll just type resize and I'll just set it to none. And now we don't have the option of resizing. Right now the last thing we need to do is style this button. So for the button we have this uh, button with the class of generate button. So I just type QR code container generate button and for the button I just remove the border and uh, we'll just set the padding to 12 pixels and 32 pixels and let's set the font size of the button to 20 pixels and let's add a background color of 001219 and let's set the color of the text to white. And we'll also set the cursor to pointer. So let's type cursor pointer. And now when we hover over this, we have this pointer. All right, so that's basically it with the design of our QR code generator. And we'll also make it responsive. So if we go back to the original design, and if I decrease the width of this browser window, here we can see when we are on a smaller screen, we have the control division at the top and the QR code at the bottom. So let's do that. So here I'll just add a media query. So I'll just type at media and let's set the max width to 700 pixels. So when the screen width is less than 700 pixels, all the CSS in this block will be added to our design. So what we need to do is we need to set the flex direction of the container division to column. So the container division is content. So we have this division with the class of content and in that we have these two divisions over here. So let's go back and uh, let's target that. And here, if we scroll to the top here, we have already set the display to flex. So I'll just copy this selector from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And here I'll just set the flex direction to column. And I'll also set the max width to 400 pixels. And I will also bring it to the center. So I'll just have margin, zero, auto. And now we can see this is how it looks on a smaller screen. And if I increase the width of the browser window, this is how it looks on a larger screen. So it is completely responsive. Right, so that's basically it with the design of our QR code generator. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality so that whatever we type over here in this text area should be displayed as a QR code over here on the right. Right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.